Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, October the 27th, and I'm just looking at my uh, VHF marine antenna, and today we're going to look at how to scan the marine band. So we'll go inside. We're going to um, use a, an available scanner for the SDR Sharp. We'll use a plug-in, and uh, it works very well. So let's just go and look at the equipment inside. So here's the setup here. Um, the lead-in from the antenna is an RG58 cable, and it's got a PL259 connector on it. So it's got a PL259 female to um, female SMA adapter to go onto the RTL. And the RTL is plugged in here to the USB. And right now I've got a Windows 10 laptop, and I'm running SDR Sharp with the Frequency Manager Scanner plug-in. Uh, and that's over here. And we can let's do a quick scan and listen, and then we'll go into uh, Camtasia and get a better uh, get a better recording. So I've just hit the scan button. I'm located about five, let's say five nautical miles from the port, so I'm not going to get any boat traffic here. It'll be blocked and obstructed, but I should get some of the weather stations. So there's one of the weather stations. So let's switch to Camtasia and we'll look at, uh, we'll look at the individual features. So about a week ago, I was contacted by an individual who was very interested in scanning. So the only thing I knew about scanning was the traditional scanner where you start, say, at a, a base frequency and you increment by the uh, channel spacing uh, go, going up channel by channel and if you detect a certain signal level then you stop and do a decode. So I thought wouldn't it be nice to um, build a model in GNU radio but before I did that I thought okay let's look at what what are some of the existing scanners out there. So right now we're looking at uh, STR Sharp which is a very very useful receiver. I've used STR Sharp, STR Angel and GQRX and they all they're all excellent uh, SDR uh, receive platforms, and they work. They all work very well with the RTL STR. So the STR Sharp, um, if you want to get it, the latest version is 1901, and you download it from airspy.com. So that's where you get the STR Sharp, and basically it's a zip file. You unzip it, and then uh, there's um, there's a special file. I think you. Um, I think it's RTL SDR BAT, which you click on to uh, load the drivers for the RTL. There's a good manual and all sorts of instructions on how to do it. Now, as far as the scanner goes, the scanner is a is another a download. So if you get down on this page here, it's the Frequency Manager Suite here, and that opens into this page, and that's where you get the Frequency Manager Suite. So it's a download zip file and it comes in as FM, FM Suite 2.3.1 install. So you unzip that, and that's what you get here. You read There's the directions on how to install it. So basically, there's another zip file. Unzip that, and you get this. And in there, there's this file. Now place this folder in the SDR Sharp directory in the plugins. So in this... Um, instructions here they tell you exactly what to do and also in here there is the instruction manual in documentation so there's an excellent manual as well so let's go to the um, actual program here so when you open SDR sharp to get the frequency manager click the main menu here and down at the bottom there'll be the plugin so there's the frequency manager and scanner so you click that, and then this opens up. This box here is a maximum signal strength. So that's this line here. So if you want to make it weaker signals, move it down. If you want stronger signals, move it up. And this is the seconds to wait after re resume. You can adjust that for whatever you want. And here is basically if you want to scan a range of frequencies. So right now, let's look at the... Um, there's a Wikipedia page for the marine frequencies worldwide. So let's say we're going to go from 156. The original 28 channels are 50 kilohertz spacing. Then went up to about 157.4. Then they added more channels. 
up to, from 60 to 88 with 25 kilohertz spacing in between. So let's say the top end, we're going to go to, let's say, um, let's say we go to 162. Um, let's, let's go to 162.5. That's how I set it up here. So we're going to scan from 156 to 162.5. And let's see what we get here. I'm set it up. Uh, for um, the RTL, uh, I've got 30 dB of gain. And um, one thing I've noticed with the RTL, it's uh, sensitive to uh, intermod and overload. Occasionally what will happen is the whole receive level will pop up. There's something close by here that's very strong. I'm not too sure what it is, and it causes this level to pop up quite a bit. So that may happen during the scan. But it's not actually a received signal. It's um, well, it is a received signal, but it's not what we want. It's something locally. It's causing an intermod. So let's do the scan. We'll hit the scan here. Prévision pour la Ontario Ouest et nous par environnement Canada à 10h30 de ravancée de l'est. We got a strong signal at 162.4. That's marine weather. There's more rain weather. Temperature 9 degrees Celsius. Wind speed 0 knots. Wind gust. Vent léger. Lundi, vent du sud à 15 nœuds. Prévision pour la Ontario Ouest et mise par environnement Canada à 10h30. De ravancée de l'est. Maximum air quality health index to or low risk. Issued by Environment Canada at 6. Okay, so we can see in that scan. The weather stations are uh, quite powerful, and I'm picking them up here. I'm not, uh, I'm not receiving any traffic from the harbor because it's blocked. Let's reduce this to, let's say, 162 and see if I can uh, pick some other stuff up other than the weather stations. Let's start again. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the scanner. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to take it down to Harborfront and let's see what we can get uh, down there. And um, so that's it for now here at my home location. Good morning, it's Jeremy. I'm just down at Toronto Harborfront at the Spadina Key, just looking at Empire Sandy here. The uh, Beneteau boats are gone, so it's almost winter. I'll just quickly glance over the harbor here. And uh, a few boats left there. So this morning what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the uh, FMS scanner to use with SDR Sharp. So we're just going to take a quick run here and see if we can pick anything up. I did it from my home location. Right now I'm getting the Toronto weather at 162.9. It's overwhelming everything. But let's just start and see. Uh, we'll start from the beginning. Just to enable the volume here. Let's see if we pick anything up. Doesn't seem to be too much activity. Whoops. I'm scanning from 157 to 162.4. I'm scanning in one kilohertz steps. So I'm not seeing too much except for the Toronto weather. Anyways, that's a quick, quick overview of how this thing works. There's the plug in there. Um, 
to enable a plugin, you just go into the menu down here, and there's the frequency manager there. So that's how you get it in, get it into SDR Sharp.